Fast and Furious, Snow Edition. Today on Made for the Outdoors, we head to the home of Polaris, where they're pushing the limit with their newest snowmobile. A faster, smarter, and smoother ride than any snow machine the company has ever made. The combination of that acceleration and control and technology that the industry hasn't seen. We're about to see how the Polaris Matrix snowmobile is made for the outdoors. People are passionate about outdoor equipment. Get this, Americans spend more than $20 billion a year on gear. But no one ever really sees how their stuff gets made. Well, that's where we come in. Each week, we throw open the factory doors and give you a behind the scenes look at how your favorite gear is made. Made for the Outdoors is brought to you by Board Review Lodge. There's remote, and then there's Roso. The small Minnesota town is a six hour drive north of Minneapolis in just shy of the Canadian border. It's here that the Polaris story began. Polaris senior engineer, Alex Hattin, knows it well. So my grandpa was Alan, one of the co-founders of the company. Alan and his older brother and their friend David, they started Hattin Hoist and Derrick in 1945 and then renamed it to Polaris Industries in 1954. And then my grandpa worked with Polaris until his death in 1973. Two hours from the nearest city, Roseau may be remote, but that isolation is what makes it special. Culture is great. It's a very can-do culture and do more with less and never really making excuses, just always figuring out a way to get it done. To put it into perspective, 1,500 employees work at the Polaris manufacturing facility in Roseau. The population of the town, just 2,600. With that kind of ratio, it's no wonder Polaris is family oriented. I've been working here about seven years. I've done a little bit of everything. So, jack of all trades, master of none. My dad and David Johnson were buddies back in the day and my dad is one of the very first dealers of Polaris snowmobiles. I have a sister that works here and a brother that works here as well, so yes. Gretchen Berg is just one of many Polaris employees working and riding alongside family. I love the outdoor industry. I love anything about the outdoors, as most everybody knows. Growing up on snowmobiles was just a passion for my family, for my dad. We did family outings and vacations on snowmobiles. Just has been really a huge part of my life since I can remember. Today, Polaris makes products for snow, dirt, and pavement. But it all started with the snowmobile. And today, we get to appreciate just how far the machine has come. We are at the birthplace of Polaris, and I am standing in the lobby of their 800,000 square foot manufacturing facility. Inside, there are multiple vehicles being made, but today, it's all about the Matrix snowmobile line. Let's head inside the plant and see how the Polaris Matrix is made for the outdoors. The first step in building any machine is conceptualization. Polaris has been making quality snowmobiles for years, so why redesign it? Who better to ask than the president of snowmobiles? President of Polaris Snowmobiles means that I get to lead the snowmobile business for Polaris. What Matrix refers to is the platform that we use to build a number of different models on, so lots of different choices to many different customers. We focused on three things in particular. Number one was acceleration, really just, we call it ferocious acceleration, so terrific power to weight ratio. Second one is effortless control. And we designed the ergonomics, actually developed them on the racetrack over a number of years to find the best way for the rider to move around and stay in control of the sled. So yeah, that's number two, effortless control. And number three is intelligent technology. So with Matrix, we brought some new kinds of technology to the snowmobile world. What makes Matrix unique is the combination of the pieces that I talked about, that acceleration and control and technology, bringing that together in a new kind of formula, a new recipe that the industry hasn't seen before. And what it does, if you just boil it all down, is it makes the sled more fun. These people must be serious about fun because not a single detail was overlooked. Technology, so we got the 7S display, we got the smart warmers, we got the new LED headlight. 
the ride, a lot of things we've done on the ergonomic side that took traits of our racer snowmobile and brought them into the consumer market. A very nimble sled and easier for the rider to provide input into the sled. So less effort in riding. Who doesn't want a smoother, sleeker, and warmer ride? Oh, and did I mention that it's fast? <laughs> I don't know if we want to say that. <laughs> It'll exceed 100 miles per hour. It's time to head inside and see how this snow machine is made. There are over 150 workers on the Matrix assembly line. It's Keith Bewley's job to oversee each of them. Well, it entails making sure that we have people in place for the jobs that we have out here, making sure we have the parts to build the units, and you know, make sure that people are trained and, and comfortable in what they're doing out there, and uh, that is making sure everything's spinning out there and uh, getting the units out the doors. Speaking of units, the facility has the capacity to roll out nearly 200 snowmobiles every day. The process begins with raw materials. A lot of the snowmobile components are made of aluminum, like the tunnel. Some of the other structural components are made of aluminum. You know, and then you got the track, which is, of course, made of rubber. Yeah, it's aluminum, plastic, rubber. You know, and there's some steel components and a uh, little of everything, I guess, that makes up the unit. There are stacks of raw materials spread throughout the facility, including plenty of metal for welding. Now that we have our raw materials assembled, the first hands-on step to making our matrix is welding. From exhaust pipes to frames and other small parts, the welders at Polaris stay plenty busy. And when I say welders, I mean both humans and robots. Coming up next, I sneak my way onto the assembly line. You're watching Made for the Outdoors. Made for the Outdoors is brought to you by Borderview Lodge, Ice Castle Fish Houses, Aquarius Home Services, Car Arms, and by Keystone Light. Keystone Light, always smooth. Celebrate responsibly. Welcome back to Made for the Outdoors. Today we're making the Polaris Matrix snowmobile. We've gathered raw materials, we've engineered, we've welded, and now we've made it to the sea assembly line where the rest of our snowmobile is assembled. As you can see, there are a lot of sets. The sea assembly line is the length of a football field, but you might be surprised at how fast it moves. So right now, we're set up to build 200 units in eight hours. So we're building close to 28, 29 units an hour is what we build. So your job cycle is close to right, right around two minutes for each, each station. It takes them about two minutes of time to do their job. Now that is what I call efficiency. Let's hit the line. The first step on the assembly line is tunnel assembly. This is where they're bending, riveting, and creating the core, the base of our snowmobile. Yeah, we get a blank sheet of aluminum and uh, gets put into the bender. We bend it to form for the snowmobile tunnel. Take it out of that. The operators install some suspension pads, some other components, and then we load it into our uh, self pierce robot technology. Installs the self pierce rivets in uh, program locations on the tunnel. Yep, after the bulkhead is glued to the chassis, then we bring it to the engine uh, installation table, drop the engine into the bulkhead at that point. 150 workers put their hands on every snowmobile heading down the line. That number is about to be 151. All right, we're at the very beginning of the assembly line and I'm about to drop the engine into the chassis. We'll see how I do. So where, where's this guy going? Um, that'll get plugged in underneath. Yeah. But we do have to get this piece under here. Plug and play, okay. And then where are those, where am I lining these other pegs up? Oh, this, uh, this part here. Here. There'll be a little hole under the motor box here, in here. I think we're on. Yep, we're good? To go. we good? Yep. All right, she's in there. That was easy. We got power. 
Next, an integral component of any snowmobile. We're here where they put the track on the tunnel. The track is important. This is what makes you fly across the snow. Now, first of all, we have to look at the build sheet to decide which track is going in that unit. With features and options, we could have three to four different tracks that are available for the unit. Operator decides which track goes in the unit, pick it up off the pallet, and, and sit it in the snowmobile. When you're flying across snow at high speeds, control is crucial. We'd uh, install the brake system. After that, we do a front suspension, the steering. So we put the steering post in, the handlebars, front control arms, spindles, and after that point, then the nose pan would go on the front. And then after that would be the rear suspension, like the slide rail, we call it, that goes inside the track. So we've made it here to rail assembly. This is the bones of the track system. See how nice this rolls. After the rails, so do the front end alignment where we align the spindles so the sled drives straight down the trail. Straight is a good thing. Plenty more from the home of Polaris when Made for the Outdoors returns. Made for the Outdoors is brought to you by All Seasons Garage Door, Polaris Industries, Driven Coffee. L&M Fleet Supply, and by Warner's Dock. Welcome back to Made for the Outdoors. Today we're in Roseau, Minnesota, assembling the new Polaris Matrix snowmobile. In order to understand how sophisticated this machine is, we need to go back and see how far they've come. Yes, that was a snowmobile. You know, it's interesting. I've been with Polaris long enough. I've had a chance to have conversations with a couple of the founders over the years about really what they had in mind. And Edgar Hattin told me one time, we built the first snowmobile because we were lazy. And I thought that was really a funny thing to say, but what they were saying was is that we were outdoorsmen and we wanted to get out and go long distances in the snow and we didn't want to you know, trudge through with snowshoes or skis. And so they built a snowmobile to make it easier to do the things that they loved. So when you think about it that way, what we have today is really the natural extension of that. Yes, it would have been hard for them to predict exactly where it was gonna go, but what we're really doing is enabling people to do something that they really love. The new Matrix line is so exciting, even the employees themselves can't wait to ride it. Yeah, the new Matrix is great. It's uh, another leap forward in handling and ergonomics, and it's a blast to drive. For me, personally, it's the ergos narrowing up the seat in the gas tank and lets you get closer to the machine and easier for cornering and just feels more natural to ride. Oh, amazing. I mean, back in the day, I drove a Colt or a Gemini. That was way back when. This is just way more than I have ever expected that snowmobiles would come to. Fast and furious, just awesome. There's a lot of things about Matrix that I'm excited about, so I've got three of them coming this winter and I'm gonna be spending a lot of time on them. Before any of that fun can happen, we need to finish building our sled. We made it about three quarters of the way down the assembly line and our snowmobile is really shaping up. Now it's time for all those small little details. Clutch covers, gas tanks, all those little things that are gonna make this puppy run. And then we'd install a fuel tank. After fuel tank install, we'd roll the snowmobile over and we put the front fenders on. After that, clutches would go on, the belt and the clutches and the drive system. After that point, uh, there'd be some of the plastic components to go on, the console, and we'd uh, hood to go on, and then uh, the side panels, the graphics. You know, at that point, the snowmobile is basically complete. What makes a snowmobile a snowmobile? Snow skis. The next step is a huge part of what makes the Matrix unique from previous builds. So the width between your knees is narrower, and what it really allows you to do is have more control of the sled. It allows you to move a lot easier and make a lot more subtle movements to impact the drivability of the sled. 
With all of our large and small parts installed, it's time to give our machine a name. All right, we've made it to one of the most exciting parts of the process. This is when you put the decals on the trim. We're branding this thing, making sure everyone knows it's a Polaris. All right, so what's the secret here? Okay, it's like a puzzle. See okay. the curve? Yep. Yep. There, once it's down, it'll be down. So you kind of go curve to curve. Okay. Right? Curve to curve. Curve to curve. Yep, you're Are good there. Are we in the middle? There's so many. Now tack this side down. Okay. And then. And just, yep, keep your this hand kind of up. Up. Yep. Now just kind of slide. Now you're down. Woo! All right. She's straight? Yeah, pretty good. Keep it soft and it'll rub right out. Oh. Just keep pulling. Nothing feels better than a fresh decal. <laughs> Check that out. Our snowmobile is officially branded, and when we get back, it's time to fire it up. You're watching Made for the Outdoors. Hey there, I'm Bill Shirk, the man about the woods. And I'm Alexa Score. If you're a fan of Made for the Outdoors and want to know more about the show, be sure to like us on Facebook. And follow us on Instagram for cool behind the scenes looks at what we're working on. And don't forget, if you've got a show idea, be sure to drop us a note. Made for the Outdoors is brought to you by Polaris Industries, Otter Tail County, Minnesota, and by Pearson's Salt and Nut Roll. Welcome back to Made for the Outdoors. We've worked our way down the entire assembly line with our Polaris Matrix snowmobile. Now for the most exciting part. At the end of the line when the snowmobile is completed, we bring it into a run-up station where they'll fire it up, do some tests on some of the safety components on the snowmobile, make sure everything works correctly. Music to any sled lover's ears. Our very last step is shipping. Shipping state is a few components that aren't put on the snowmobile. We don't put the skis on at the factory and the windshield, you know, and that's just uh, so we can fit it in a smaller container when we ship it away. So, and basically that's the only components that are on the sled when it leaves here is the, is the skis and, and the windshield. Our snowmobile is complete. It's ready to get shipped out to a dealership. Now, all there's left to do, pray for snow. The culture at Polaris is unique. Polaris has a really special culture in that we're all doing something that most of us are really, really passionate about and just bringing better riding experiences to more customers. That's something that not too many people get to do in their job. There's so many quality humans right here in Polaris Rozo. They're hardworking, they're dedicated, and they're proud of what we make here. Every day I come out here and I see people that are dedicated, hardworking, people that do things that I could never do on a daily. So. It's just amazing, amazing people here. It's pretty special when the people who build the machines love them just as much as consumers. <laughs> yes, I would say probably the biggest reason I work for Polaris is because I started off, even as a kid, just loving snowmobiles. And so I was designing snowmobile product lines and drawing pictures of them, and even when I was just a little kid. So I've always loved snowmobiles and have ridden them most of my life. Just like being outside and going fast and the relationship with the machine. I've uh, owned a snowmobile since I was probably 12 or 13 years old. I probably put on at least 2,000 miles a winter on my snowmobile, so I do a lot of riding. There's probably no other product out there that can give you the, the kind of get up and go that a snowmobile does. So, I mean, it's just the freedom, you know, and, and uh, just getting away. I 
I love it. I, I mean, I don't know. I love, I love Polaris. I have two Indian motorcycles and a slingshot. I mean, as a family, we enjoy, we do family time on Polaris units. And Polaris is just such a big part of not just my life. My husband's an engineer. My kids love the Polaris product. We love to get out on snowmobiles, on the motorcycles that Polaris builds for us. Slingshots, ATVs, ORVs. We have a razor, you know? So many wonderful things that happen right here at a company that builds fun. We've made it about three. <laughs> the, the line's gonna start. That's a.